Blender or food processor which is best for your needs? Food processors and blenders are similar in theory. Either one is a container with a blade inside, topped with a lid, sitting on a stand with a motor to power it. But that is as far as it goes for similarities. Blenders and food processors are two common kitchen appliances that are often used for similar purposes, but they do have some differences in design, function, and the types of foods they can handle. What are the main differences between blenders and food processors? Let us look at the difference in design. Blenders typically have a tall, narrow container with a blade at the bottom. The blend spins rapidly to blend the ingredients together. However, food processors have wider, shorter bowls with a variety of blades and discs. You can change these blades and discs to perform different functions. How do blenders function differently than food processors? Blenders are primarily used for making smoothies, purees, and soups, and they can also crush ice and make frozen drinks. But food processors are better for chopping, slicing, shredding, and grating ingredients. Food processors are also good at making dough, nut butter, and dips. What about blades? Blenders usually have only one type of blade that can only perform one function, which is blending. And food processors have multiple blades and discs that can be interchanged depending on the task at hand, such as chopping, slicing, or shredding. Texture Blenders are great for creating smooth, uniform textures, such as purees and smoothies. Food processors can produce coarser, uneven textures, such as chopped vegetables or grated cheese. Capacity Blenders are typically designed for smaller batches and are ideal for single servings or small families. Food processors are larger and can handle larger quantities of food, making them a good choice for meal prep or cooking for larger groups. In summary, blenders are best suited for liquid-based foods that need to be pureed or blended, while food processors are better for preparing solid foods that need to be chopped, sliced, or grated. Now let us discuss when to use a food processor versus a blender. A blender has a jar with blades on the bottom that cut food into small particles and whirl them around. That's why the blender purees and liquefies so well. This makes it better for recipes where smooth, even consistency is key. Blenders also crush ice, so they're the best for frozen drinks. Overall, the blender works best when liquid is involved. It can also whip cream for dessert or eggs for a fluffy omelet. Now, a food processor is more of an all-around kitchen workhorse. It is like a sous chef that preps all the ingredients tedious work for the chef. Switching blades and discs and using different speeds, plus the pulse function, gives the cook more control. It works well on dry ingredients, such as chopping herbs, pulverizing graham crackers for pie crust, or kneading dough. It can also shred a block of mozzarella for pizza or carrots for a cake in seconds. When it comes to design differences, blenders and food processors have some distinct physical differences. Blenders typically have a tall and narrow shape, while food processors have a wider and shorter shape. Blenders usually have a capacity of around 1 to 2 liters, while food processors can have a capacity of up to 12 cups. Blenders usually have a single blade at the bottom that spins rapidly to blend the ingredients together. Food processors, on the other hand, have a variety of interchangeable blades and discs that can perform different functions, such as chopping, slicing, shredding, and grating. Blenders typically have a few speed settings and a pulse function, while food processors may have more speed and pulse options. Some food processors also have different settings for different functions, such as chopping, shredding, and mixing. Blenders typically have a removable lid with a central opening for adding ingredients during blending. Food processors usually have a wider and latched lid with a feed chute. 
That allows ingredients to be added while the machine is running. Food processors are usually heavier than blenders due to their larger size and more powerful motor. Whether a food processor or a blender is better depends on what you want to use it for. Blenders are best for pureeing, liquefying, and blending ingredients. An ideal for making smoothies, milkshakes, soups, sauces, and dips. Blenders are also great for crushing ice and making frozen drinks. On the other hand, food processors are best for chopping, slicing, grating, and shredding ingredients. An ideal for making things like pesto, hummus, nut butter, and dough. Food processors are also great for preparing ingredients for dishes like salads and casseroles. If you have to choose between a blender and a food processor, consider what you plan to use it for the most. Are you making a lot of smoothies or purees? Then a blender would be a better choice. Do you do a lot of chopping and shredding for recipes? Then a food processor is the way to go. Now, let us talk about which recipes are better using blenders and are work better using a food processor. Here are some examples of recipes that work better in a blender. Smoothies and milkshakes by quickly and easily blending fruits and vegetables into a smooth and creamy drink. Purees and sauces, such as tomato sauce, hummus, or pesto. Hot soups by making them smoother and creamier. Now, what recipes work better in a food processor? Food processors are great for making dough for bread, pizza, and pasta. Also great for chopping vegetables, such as onions, garlic, carrots, and celery. Can grate cheese, saving a lot of time and effort compared to grating cheese by hand. Baby food is also a task for a good processor. The bottom line. Generally, if you're preparing something that needs to be blended into a smooth consistency, like a smoothie or sauce, then a blender is likely the better option. However, a food processor is like a kitchen assistant. Chopping, pureeing, making pastry dough, slicing, shredding, and even dicing. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments what recipes do you find suitable for a blender versus a food processor. Thanks for watching.